So then we're going to look at this piece. We're looking at the tangent of 2 times the inverse sine of 3 fourths for sure, for sure. Now, what's that going to get you? That is going to get you a triangle in the first quadrant or the fourth quadrant because you're dealing with the inverse sine and that's its restricted domain. But could you have it over on the other side? Sure. But now, wait, this is a... Uh, wait, what do you mean, sure? Just... Come at there. Opposite over hypotenuse. So that's going to be the square root of 7 over there. Now we're going to deal with that in a minute. Oh, man. I really got to clean this place up. So, all right. So that's our theta. This is going to get our triangle. And you've seen that as a consistent theme. Now, let's go and let's put this tangent of this double angle. I'm going to call this whole thing. That's alpha. I want theta. All right. So that's going to be, come on. Really? Really? This is going to be, um, don't buy this marker brand. Okay, so that's two times I'm trying out markers. Can you focus? This is the tangent of my theta. What's my theta? That's the sine inverse of three fourths. Oh boy. And then that's all divided by, divided by, one minus, wait for it. Now the tangent squared is really the tangent. I hope I can fit it. This is the tangent of, what's my theta? That's the sine inverse of 3 fourths. For sure, for sure. All right, so we know for sure, for sure, we don't want to get this brand of marker. All right, so that's going to be two times the tangent of that triangle. That's what that says. The tangent of that triangle. So the tangent is that 3 over that 7 because the tangent is the opposite over the adjacent. Please get proficient with your trig. So the tangent is the opposite over the adjacent. So that's 3 over the square root of 7. As soon as he says that, he's going to make a mistake. Okay. All right. Fine. So now that's all still going to be squared there. So what? It's future. The sine of this, all right, that makes that triangle. So we want to read the tangent of this triangle. Tangent's opposite over the adjacent. So then that's going to be that 3 over that root 7. Because that says the tangent of that triangle. Fine. Now we're going to go and we're going to square dang things. And we're going to do some algebra. So then here we go. So, all right, that's 6 over the square root of 7 divided by 1 minus 9 over 7. Why? Because 3 squared is 9 and root 7 squared is 7. Then, oh, Carl. So that's 6 over root 7. Nobody look up mamas with that. This is a 7 minus, that's a minus 2 sevenths. Please get proficient with your fractions. As soon as he says that, he's going to mess up. Dividing by a fraction is the same as multiple. Multiplying by the reciprocal, and that's 6 over root 7, and then that's times 7 over minus 2, because a few of you have heard that rhyme, that hum, that him. Dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So we reciprocate, and we get back to that problem, and then that's a, a 42. I should have done it in blue. I should have done it in blue. Blue, 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 42. Hut, 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 hut. <clears throat> That's all over a minus two root seven. I don't understand how they got that answer. Oh, but we're not done. You need to rationalize. You need to realize that denominator. Well, you need to make it rational and multiplying top and bottom by the square root of seven now. Oh, boy. So that's a... Uh, Blue, 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 42. Hut, 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 hut. Much better brand right there, but they're out of business. Okay, so then that's all over. Um, Wait for it. Minus 14, mean. But what we deuce is we reduce by a deuce, and we find we can reduce by a deuce, and what does that turn out to be? That's 21. Why? Because that's um 14, and 14 and 42 share reduce. So then that's a, a minus... 7 root 7, 21 root 7 over 7, all of those places that we could have messed up. 
<laughs> and I lay away. Okay, you're looking at that. You know what? Okay, fine. Fine, we thought we messed up. <sighs> I was wrong once. It was that time I thought I was wrong. 21 and 7. Come on now. Don't you see? Your answer is 3! Root 7 and then that's what I have that says it's a... <laughs> Boxing. Come on, Marcus. Really? I'm not going to shout out that brand. Don't get these markers.